Good morning. I have two raw eggs here. But if we look at the two eggs, one looks a little different than the other. Can you see it? Now, both of these eggs were laid by a chicken. So where they came from isn't making the difference. Both of these eggs came from the same carton. They are both medium eggs with white shells. But there's something different about this egg. Wouldn't you agree? This egg looks just like a raw egg. It has a hard shell that would crack if I banged it too hard. But this egg, it's kind of bouncy, rubbery. It's just as fragile as the other egg, but there isn't a hard shell. Now, here's something really neat. If I hold a flashlight up to this egg, look to see what happens. You know what I see? I can see the light inside the egg. I can see that the light from the flashlight is filling the egg up and I can see it and the egg is glowing and it's shining light back to be seen. But this egg, when I shine the flashlight on, it, the light is able to get through the shell and into the egg, but it isn't able to shine back out from the hard shell. We can see a little bit, but not as bright as this changed egg. These eggs represent people. We all come from God. God created each of us and he has filled us with the potential to go out into the world and to do good things that he wants us to do. This egg has the same stuff inside it as this egg. So why is this one so different? Well, this egg has gone through a change. I put the egg in a cup of vinegar and let it sit for three days. And over those three days, the hard shell fell away. But when it lost its hard shell, the egg wasn't destroyed, it was just changed. In the New Testament, we learn of a man whose name was Saul. Saul was a Jewish man who loved and honored God. But when he kept hearing things about Jesus, he would become very angry. Saul didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah and he tried to stop the good news of Jesus from spreading. He tried so hard that he ended up dishonoring God. He put people in jail and he killed them for following Jesus. He thought that he was practicing God's commandments. He didn't believe the stories that about Jesus could possibly be true. Well, one day Saul was traveling with others and suddenly there was a bright light. Everyone fell to the ground and shielded their eyes. And then Saul heard a question. Why are you persecuting me? Saul asked who it was and only he heard a voice who said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, the one you are persecuting. When the bright light disappeared and Saul and his men were alone again, they all got up. But when Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything, only darkness. For three days, Saul couldn't see. God then sent a Jesus follower named Ananias to go to Saul's house. Ananias put his hands on Saul and told him that it was Jesus that he had met on the road that day. Then something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and right away he believed. And from then on, Saul changed. Even his name, you might recognize him more as Paul. Instead of persecuting Jesus' followers, from then on, Paul became one, a great teacher who supported and instructed new believers in the church. God changed Saul's life that day, and God has the power to change us too. There are things that happen in our life that prepare us to do God's work. There are experiences that we have and people who we meet who transform us. We become so changed in our hearts that people who look at us and see what we do recognize that there is something different about us. They can see a light or a love that is unlike anything else. And then we find ourselves being able to share God's love 
in a way that we couldn't before. This week, let's be open to change. Let's allow ourselves to be changed by our experiences and the people around us so that God's love shines through us in new and amazing ways.